Everything that is explained in this video is summarized from CoinMarketCap. Now take a look at this. SES Judge Torres for final judgment in Ripple XRP lawsuit. In this letter, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission Sec brings to the attention of the federal court the fact that Ripple Labs has violated securities laws and requests that the judge issue a final judgment against Ripple. According to a previous post by CoinGape, this includes civil fines of approximately $2 billion, as well as perpetual injunctions, disgorgement, and prejudgment interest. The Securities and Exchange Commission SEC was criticized by Ripple executives in the cryptocurrency community for making unreasonable comments in the remedies related brief and other documents. Ripple is being punished for its actions, which are intended to disrupt the bull market. And there are no claims of fraud or carelessness. In the remedies related brief, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission seeks, seeks a final judgment. Following the imposition of red actions, the public version of the SEC's brief concerning remedies was submitted to the court. Based on violations of Section 5 of the Securities Act of 1933 and the conduct of unregistered offerings of XRP and institutional sales, the arguments are principally predicated. The reasoning is based on the summary judgment and ruling that Judge Annalisa Torres issued on July 13, which indicates that the Securities and Exchange Commission has not argued any fraud and is only targeting the expansion of Ripple, even though a lawsuit has been filed. Uh, Ripple is being ordered to pay disgorgement for $876 million by the Securities and Exchange Commission's, uh, Commission, which is requesting that Judge and Elisa Torres grant a draft judgment in its favor. In addition, it is requesting a civil penalty and prejudgment interest in the amount of $198 million. $150,940. The Securities and Exchange Commission asserts that the majority of Ripple's post-complaint XRP sales are to institutions and that these sales have caused investors to suffer because the company did not disclose discounts to institutional investors. Moreover, the Securities and Exchange Commission contends that Ripple continues to disobey laws, misrepresent the verdict, and purposefully avoid complying with securities legislation. Ripple CEO and Chloe Blastasek, the chief executive officer of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, stated that the $2 billion penalty is unreasonable because there are no allegations, let alone findings of fraud or recklessness. There is not a single example that can be compared to this. Garlinghouse, on the other hand, draws attention to the SEC's egregious misuse of authority in the debt box case and its lack of faithful allegiance to the law in the Ripple case. Chloe to Ripple, the securities, an exchange commission appears to be merely punishing and intimidating Ripple and the entire sector, according to Stuart Alderodi, rather than applying the law. Our answer will be sent the following month. However, as we have all witnessed on numerous occasions, this is a regulator that engages in the business of trading and assertions that are not only incorrect, but also mischaracterized and intended to deceive. They remain faithful to their character here. According to the extended dates that Judge Torres has permitted, Ripple will present its argument to the court on April 22nd, and the Securities and Exchange Commission will submit its response on May 6th. A strong price for XRP proponents of XRP argued that the remedies-related brief did not provide any more information beyond what was anticipated. Legal professionals, on the other hand, voiced cargies and steel consumers. Lawyers Bill Morgan and James Farrell stated that Judge Torres placed Odal sales in Category 1 along with other sales to institutions and Ripple sales. Ripple's legal team is hoping that the company would adjust its business operations in response to the Torres verdict. Otherwise, the SEC will have an advantage. As far as Fred Rispole is concerned, the move will have repercussions for Ripple. On the other hand, I believe that the court will provide sufficient time for the parties to settle the penalties and fines. If this does not occur, the judge will evaluate whether or not the newly structured sales are favorable enough to Ripple. A historical breakout is on the horizon for XRP, which is supported by Ripple Labs and has been in a state of macro triangular consolidation for more than five years because Bitcoin set does demonstrated that it is currently experiencing an early bull run. The price of XRP is getting ready to retest its all-time high in the coming months. In addition, the alternative cryptocurrency has created a cup with a handle-based pattern, which is typically followed by a significant move as a result of Ripple Labs and the suite of payment products it offers. The price of XRP has experienced a tremendous increase and significant improvement in liquidity. A recent examination of the continuing legal conflict between Ripple Labs and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission 
has highlighted a potential crucial development in the case. Fred Rispoli, a legal expert, has said that there is a 40% chance that a pivotal twist would occur. Ripple has been subjected to a significant fine of $2 billion, as was made public yesterday by the Securities and Exchange Commission. During the lengthy legal struggle that Ripple has been engaged in with the regulatory agency, this demand, which is anticipated to be contained in documents that will be forthcoming, marks a crucial milestone. An individual who is well known for their support of XRP, Rispoli, examined the complexities of the issue and emphasized the gravity of the claims that the SEC has made against Ripple. Ripple, which disputes the veracity of the SEC's assertions and calls into doubt the regulator's adherence to legal standards, raises a point of contention over the importance of the regulator's responsibility to establish actual harm to investors. He emphasizes the significance of this obligation. Rispoli emphasized that the motion has significant repercussions for Ripple, as well as for the cryptocurrency sector. Speculating on the probable outcomes, he proposed two scenarios, a favorable settlement after the verdict, to which he estimates a 40% possibility of a lengthy legal struggle and Ripple is subject to limits in its operations. The most important points during his analysis of the motion, Rispoli brought attention to several important topics, one of which was the controversial matter of offering reduced XRP sales to institutional purchasers. In particular, it's see voiced concern about the possible influence that these discounts could have on the dynamics of the XRP market, particularly about retail investors and the, the cryptocurrency ecosystem as a whole, is a conclusive agreement reached following the ruling. At this point, I'm going to estimate the odds at 40%. It is more likely that this will be ruled in favor of Ripple about the amount of money that is owed. However, it is also possible that Ripple will suffer hits on what is permitted moving forward, which means that this will be appealed to the second. All is furthermore, Ripple I engaged in a discussion regarding Ripple's ongoing XRP sales following the conclusion of the dispute, which led to inquiries regarding the company's sources of revenue and contractual arrangements with institutional purchasers. He made a point to emphasize the significance of the court's upcoming decision about the legality of these transactions, which could indicate that Ripple's future business practices will undergo some modification. Rispoli also questioned the impact of institutional buyer discounts on the price trend of XRPR, which is an intriguing observation. He hinted at the possible influence that large-scale investors could have on the dynamics of the market. To further improve the liquidity of XRP, the Ripple community has just launched the automated market maker, maker and meme, which was eagerly anticipated among the community. Trading volume for XRP has gradually increased as a result of the growing popularity of on-demand liquidity to Warl, which is gaining popularity every day, even though Ripple is now engaged in a legal battle with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, XRP has managed to maintain its position as one of the top 10 most valuable digital assets. 